Hello and welcome to Thought for July the 30th. Our readings are 2 Samuel 16, Jeremiah 20 and Romans chapters 5 and 6. And our thought is Slaves of Righteousness. How challenging are Paul's words to the Romans and to us? There is no middle way, which is what Jesus taught. We are either slaves of sin or we have become slaves of righteousness. Romans chapter 6, verses 17 and 18. Paul admits he is making the point bluntly, speaking in human terms because of your natural limitations, he says in verse 19. He then challenges the believers at Rome, and this is just as much a challenge to those seeking a relationship with God today, that just as you once presented your members as slaves to impurity and to lawlessness, leading to more lawlessness, so now then present your members as slaves to righteousness, leading to sanctification. Difficult word, sanctification. Think of it as holyfication, becoming more and more like Christ in all our thinking. And as a result of doing this, our words and actions increasingly show the reality of the Christ-mindedness we are developing, so that we are truly becoming more and more slaves of righteousness. And as Paul makes the point in the last two verses of this chapter, but now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the fruit you get leads to sanctification and its end, eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Are we enjoying the fruit we are developing? Spiritual enjoyment? Can we sense it leading to sanctification? How marvellous are the words of encouragement Paul penned to the Colossians, saying, We have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in knowledge of God. Chapter 1, verses 9 to 10. Oh, the wonder of being slaves of righteousness. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that it is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you.